Okay, good afternoon. I'd like to call the order to regular meeting of the Board of Public Works. Roll call. Val Gomez. Present. William Allen. Present. Weena Guzman. Per Present. Okay, we'll move on to the minutes of the regular meeting of March 13, 2019. Entertain a motion to approve as written. I have. Uh, Oh, any have, comments, questions? Yes, I have um, just uh, some comments. Uh, there's a couple pages that just, um, let me see if I can find the page. Um, I think page uh, 11, towards the end, line 25, and then uh, beginning of 12, line 1, just to double check that because it, it just doesn't flow. And also, um, Page 13, that's line 25. I think we're missing something there. And also page 14, line 25 as well. My yeah. it's a table of totally Okay, we'll, um, we'll table the we approval the of the uh, minutes of March 13th, uh, our next meeting. Any, were there any questions on the minutes? No. Okay, there be no further questions on the minutes. We'll move on to the correspondence. There is no correspondence. We'll move on to new business. First item on our agenda is opening seal bids and awarding for the 2019 Board of Safety Demolitions. So the building department. Okay, the first one's from Acton, P.O. Box 518. Located at 1102 East Columbus Drive, East Chicago. Lump sum of one million one hundred and twenty eight thousand three hundred and five dollars. One one two eight three zero five. And then Val, there's um there's a breakdown for groups. So there's six groups. Do you want me to read the breakdown for all six groups? Okay. Group one, uh, located, first location is uh, 1026, 138th place, $16,250. Address 4215 Drummond Street, $6,600. 3718 Elm Street, front and rear, $24,340. Uh, 3848 Euclid Avenue, $37,235. 3919 Elm Street, $18,375. 4112 Magoon Avenue, $17,840. Uh, total group one, $120,640. Group 2, uh, located 534 West 144th Street, $9,780. Uh, address 14, 15 through 19 West 151st Street, $29,600. 4916 Olcott Avenue, $28,175. 4219 Northcott Avenue, $17,425. 4821 Bering Avenue, $17,500. 4863 Bering Avenue, $26,865. Total, $129,345. Group 3, 3724 Deodor Street, $14,340. Uh, 4023 Deodor, $29,400. 3816 Catalpa Street, $19,350. 3829 Butternut Street, $16,260. 4002 Alder Street, $24,300. 4003 
1914 East Columbus Drive, $16,200. Total Group 3, $119,850. Group 4, 4844 Alexander Avenue, $24,350. Uh, 4924 Alexander, $59,000. 4926 Alexander, $29,000. Ten dollars, forty four four seven Vernon, fifteen thousand six hundred dollars, forty eight twenty five Melville Avenue, eighty nine thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars, totaling two hundred and seventeen thousand three hundred and thirty five dollars. Group five, seventeen o two Broadway Avenue, fifty nine thousand two hundred and ninety dollars, nineteen o nine Broadway, forty nine. Uh, $47,240. 3801 Parish, $19,340. 3804 Parish, $39,350. 60, I'm sorry, 620 West Chicago Avenue, $22,740. Total $187,960. Group 6. 3729 Main Street, $170,000. 3805 Main Street, $47,775. Uh, 3818 Main Street, $94,000. 3917 Main Street, $28,800. 3905 Guthrie, $12,600. Grand total for Group 6. $353,175. Okay. All right, uh, four more. <laughs> Okay, next one is D and R Site Services, located 7015 West 5th Avenue, Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Okay, so yeah, the, should, should I just do the total for grant to, for the different groups? Group one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So total group for uh, for group one, one hundred and ten thousand nine hundred and sixty-five dollars and eighty cents. One one zero nine six five point eight zero. Group two. One hundred and nine thousand eight hundred and forty seven dollars and sixty five cents. One zero nine eight four seven point six five. Group three ninety eight thousand eight hundred and fifty one uh, uh, dollars uh, and fifty cents. Nine eight eight five one point five zero. Group four one hundred and fifty five thousand six hundred and fifty two dollars and ten cents. One five five six five two. Point one zero, group five one hundred and twenty four thousand five hundred and thirty two dollars and ten cents one two four five three two point one zero group six one hundred and twenty thousand uh, dollars I'm sorry one hundred and twenty thousand two hundred and fifty nine dollars and fifteen cents one two zero two five nine point one five uh, there is no total and uh, I do nine. I have a calculator on me. You said what?
Uh, moving on to Next one is uh, KLF Enterprises, Inc., located 2044 West 163rd Street, Markham, Illinois. Okay, group one, grand total $153,686, $153,686, group two, $172,601, group three, no bid, group four, no bid, group five, no bid, and group six, no bid. Next is JM Industrial Services, located 201 Marble Street, Hammond, Indiana. Group 1, $87,500. Group 2, $82,000. Group three, eighty-two thousand seven hundred dollars. Group five, ninety-five thousand one hundred dollars. Group five, one hundred and eight thousand dollars. Group six, three hundred and twenty-eight thousand six hundred dollars. This is Green Demolition Contractors, located 523 North Brook Drive, Michigan City, Indiana. Group 1, $168,400. Group 2, one hundred and seventy seven thousand one hundred dollars group three one hundred and seventy six thousand three hundred dollars group four one hundred and sixty eight thousand four hundred dollars group five one hundred and ninety five thousand dollars group six two hundred and sixty two thousand dollars So that, that concludes the uh, bids. Well, the Custom Building Commissioner will review the, um, the bids to ensure on the proper paperwork, and you'll come back with your recommendations next meeting. Next meeting is no, I thought he wanted to that gives you enough time yeah. to review. Okay. Think you could review them by the end of the meeting? Well, you have to the end of the meeting if you if you think you come with a recommendation. You're gonna need me to speak on behalf of the other one or that one just signs? Well you're next you're next up for the other one. Okay, next on the agenda we have Northwest Industrial Specialists. We have a request for uh, one hundred caution demolition signs in the amount of one thousand five hundred and eighty one dollars. These are the caution demolition signs that we replace on all the properties that are uh, set to be demolished, um, and we place it on the on the properties. Okay. Any questions or comments on this proposal from NIS Northwest Industrial Specialists? None. There be no further questions or comments, and to, uh, 
There's a motion to approve NIS's proposal for 1,581 for 100 demolition signs. Mm -hmm. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. <coughs> yes. Okay, next on our agenda, thank you, James. Next on our agenda, we have the Fire Station 5 Fiber Network RFP opening. This is from IT department. So, Kevin, this is just the RFP. There's no dollar figure to this, right? No, it's a request for the proposal. All right. All right. Heck. Um, yeah, the first one's from Heck, which is address will be on the inside. Located. 938 West Avenue, H. Griffith, Indiana. Okay. Uh, grand total $23,769.10. 23769 .10. Next one is uh, Midwestern Electric, uh, Inc. 16, located 1620 East Chicago Avenue, East Chicago. Sorry about that. Grand total, $30,771.50. 30771.50 Next is Hydro uh, X Inc or H E I Utility Contractors located at 321 East Main Street Griffith Indiana Grand total thirty four thousand eight hundred and eleven dollars and seventy seven cents three four eight one one point seven seven. Next one is Turnkey Network Solutions. Located 720 South Belt Drive, uh, Caledonia, Michigan. Grand total $39,618.47. And last, we have Electric Conduit Construction. Located 816 Hicks Drive, Elborn, Illinois. Grand total fifty nine thousand three hundred and sixty two dollars and fifty seven cents five nine three six two point five seven and that is all of the RFPs. Okay, uh, Mr. Pulsack, you reviewed uh, bids and ensure all the paperwork is proper and come back with your recommendation. Yes. Possibly today or. Yes, uh, if I can review and. Uh, 
come back by the end of the meeting with the uh, recommendation to award. Okay. We'll move on to award of city landscaping and watering. This is from Public Works. This is their landscaping and watering project. Good evening, board. Uh, Renee Sid from Public Works. Uh, we're asking that the board approve, uh, award rather, the vendor of Cummings Landscaping for various uh, property for the city. Uh, they do work at a, on time and responsible for uh, the work that they do. We're satisfied with their, their work. Okay. What was the amount you have under? Pardon? Is there the amount? Yes. A hundred and seventy-two thousand four hundred and eighty-eight dollars. Any questions or comments on the awarding? No? Okay, there being no further questions or comments, there's a motion to award city landscaping and watering project to Cummings. In the amount of $172,488. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. <coughs> yes. Wiener Guzman. Yes. Okay, next we come to Garib Construction, change order number four for Block Stadium dugouts. This is also from Public Works. And this is a change order in the amount of $990. Yes, so gentleman Doug is supposed to take care of that. Change the order. Gentleman Doug is right here. He's right here. <laughs> For the record, uh, Doug, can you give your name, full name for the record? Uh, Douglas Ray Cunningham, Sr. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the Gary Construction Change Order Number 4 Block Stadium <clears throat> in the amount of $990. Uh, we have two dugouts, and we've installed uh, French drains, and to have, uh, due to the elevations, um, we didn't have enough covering for the pipes, so we needed uh, the change order of $990 to add additional cover reinforcement over the pipes and also to add uh, concrete with fiber in it so that it would not crack. Okay, so you agree with Garrips? Yes. Are there any further questions or comments on this proposal change order for $990? There be no further questions or comments. We're taking a motion to approve Garib Construction's change order number four for Block Stadium dugouts in the amount of nine hundred ninety dollars. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Wina Golson. Yes. Okay, next we have from Verick Architects change order number two for blocks, also for Block Stadium for Public Works. Right. Um, we have um, <coughs> two damaged piers. That hold that uh, supporting the uh, bleachers is a structural member. Uh, we noticed that upon doing field inspection, that the uh, anchor bolts and the we had some fragmentation and cracks within that foundation. Um, this is structural issue. It needs to be uh, repaired. Um, the cost for the designer, the structural engineer, to design a fix for it came out to be uh, $3,629. Okay. And you concur with Varick? Yes. In the project. Any questions or comments? No. No. There be no further questions or comments. We're entertaining a motion to approve Varick's architect's change order number two for Block Stadium in the amount of $3,629. Can I just make a note? I'm sorry. On the uh, proposal, it does say 3735 Main Street, what they provided, so that may just a um, let me make sure. reference um, that that's should the incorrect be, address. It should be Block Stadium. No, on the, change, on the contract for the change order, it does have the correct address. Uh, it's at Main Street's on the letter from there. Right, that is yeah, the one just, where we signed. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make note of that. That's um, okay. Okay. We'll correct that. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, next on our agenda we have from Public Works, from Trepster Sales and Service and Rental. We have a proposal for, I believe, lawnmowers. Yes, uh, this is for Public Works. This is about trading in our four old uh, riding lawnmowers uh, to save uh, substantial uh, savings. And we're asking that the board approve this so we could move on, move forward, and purchase the four new ones on a trade-in. Okay, so you're going with um, Trepster? Trepsters, yes. Over the lowest uh, bid at 31200 Yes. 31. Pardon me? Are there any questions or comments? Um, it's $31,132. That is correct. 31000 oh yeah, 31132 I was looking at the worksheet. I think they just rounded it off. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments? There being no other questions or comments, I entertain a motion to approve the Tepster's proposal for public works <coughs> for lawnmowers in the amount of $31,132. So Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Wiener Guzman. Yes. Next we come. To Lord, I have one more for the water, or the, the plants, uh, the flowers uh, uh, from Great Lakes Landscape. That was on the agenda. It's under uh, water. And watering. Okay. Award. Oh, the award of city. Yeah. Landscape. Landscaping, and then it says and water. But this is under another vendor. Oh, that that's was, separated. That was, uh, it was separate. We, so right. when we did Cummings, Cummings was only for landscaping? Yes. Okay, okay. And this is for Great Lakes I Landscaping. Thought, so the watering section is a set, your Correct. recommendation? Okay. Okay, let's go back to that item then. So your recommendation for the watering, we, we did open up those last yes. meeting. And yes. your recommendation after reviewing the paperwork? Yes. Is with who? And I have the cost here. Okay, what's the name of the company that you're recommending? Great Lakes Landscaping. Great Lakes? MGMT Inc. Okay, Great Lakes Landscaping, and the amount is? $78,770. Okay. And that was the lowest when we opened up the? Yes. Any questions or comments on the watering proposal from Great Lakes Landscaping? None. There be no further questions or comments or entertain a motion to approve the proposal from Great Lakes Landscaping for the watering project. Public works in the amount of $78,770. No. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Wiener Guzman. Yes. Thank you, board. Okay, next we come to Meyer Glass and Mirror Company Incorporated. This is from Animal Control. Good afternoon. My name is Leon Valdez. I'm with the health department. I'm manager of uh, inspections and animal control. What I have is uh, three bids for 10 doors and windows for the animal control facility. Um, Meyer glass and mirror is the cheapest at $31,680. I'm requesting, I'm sorry. 31, what? $31,680. 30, $31, okay, so you reviewed the, the quotes and your recommendation is Meyer Glass? Yes. Are there any questions or comments? No. Okay, there being no further questions or comments, I entertain a motion to approve the request from Animal Control, our Animal Control Department, uh, 
with Meyer Glass for $31,680. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. The next one we have is also from Animal Control. This is with AMG Construction. Commissioners, I'd like to resend uh, a job given last meeting from Spectrum Painting to AMG Painting. It's, uh, it's more expensive, <clears throat> but after seeing the quality of work, uh, they painted the, uh, the building that houses the bridge attendant on Dickey Road. And they were very thorough. It's an excellent job. Uh, being an administrator, I usually just get quotes and pick the cheapest one without knowing what their realm of work is. But uh, after viewing what they did there, I would like to award that to AMG Painting for the amount of $28,750. What, what is the amount of that one? <clears throat> I'm sorry? You're, you're going with... AMG? Yes. The amount of $28,750? $28,750. And this is based on their quality of work? Yes. Are there any questions or comments? Do we have to resend the arranger? Yeah. That's what I was going to get to once we, uh, if we have any questions or comments on the recommendation to change. Any questions or comments on that? So then, the one that was, what was the name of the other one that we had to resend? Precision? Spectrum. Spectrum, yeah. And what was their amount? Spectrums? Yeah. Do you need copies? I have copies for you if you want them. Sure. Okay, here, this is the plan about it. Spectrum's amount was $25,450. Okay. So based on Okay, so based on your review and of the quality of work, um, I want to take a motion that we rescind the previous recommendation of Spectrum for $25,450. And take a motion to rescind the previous recommendation. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. No. Thank you, Commissioners. Now we'll enter a motion to approve. The, recommend, the new recommendation with AMG construction in the amount of $20,750. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. <clears throat> All right, now we'll move on to outstanding invoices. And the first one is from Star Uniform. This is with the police department. Good evening, Lieutenant Kasi, Lieutenant George Kasi, Chicago Police Department. It's a late invoice uh, for some badges. Um, we received the badges, but we did not uh, get the bill until this month. Okay. It's for $455. From the paperwork, it was one invoice <coughs> dated 9-18-19, and as you said, it's for $455. Any questions or comments? I think it's 2018. Pardon me? The invoice date on the... They should put 2019, but it's, two, of course, oh, 2018. 9 <coughs> 2018. Any questions or comments on the late invoice? None. Yeah. There being no further... Questions or comments for entering a motion to approve the past due invoice from Star Uniform in the amount of four hundred fifty dollars. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. Next on our agenda, we have 
past due invoice from account temps on Robert Half Company. This is from redevelopment. We have four invoices, all from January 19th, one for February 19th, in the amount of $8,822.19. Oh. Hi, I'm Tom Message, M E S I C H, from the Department of Redevelopment. The reason that these invoices are past due is because at the end of the year when the controller's department shuts down the, the uh, invoicing, there was still money left on a 2018 purchase order that, need, that could not be carried over until, uh, for 2019 until we found an additional funding source for, uh, to complete this purchase order. So that's the reason that there's been a delay. Okay, and services were provided? Yes. Any questions or comments? No. There being no further questions or comments, I entertain a motion to approve the past two invoices from account temps and Robert Half Company in the amount of $8,822.19. So moved. A second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, next we have from KMN Waste and Recycling. We have a late invoice, one late invoice dated 12 21 2018, amount of 2100. This is from the planning department. It has planning, but it has Milton Reed on here. Uh, Marina Solorio, Planning and Economic Development Director. I see on the paperwork it, the, the reasons the new account had to be created for city-owned building facades. Then funding had to be allocated to the account. These events caused the invoice to be late. I believe this is from Mr. Reed. Do you concur with Mr. Reed's? Uh... Yes, that is correct. Any questions or comments? No. No. There being no further requests or comments, we're going to take a motion to approve the outstanding invoice that came in waste and recycling in the amount of $2,100. <coughs> so moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. Thank you. Uh, next we have from Robinson Engin Engineering. <coughs> we have a late invoice, two late invoices. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, dated from 12 27 18 and 1 29 19 in the amount of fifteen thousand four hundred seventy seven dollars so yeah, this, this is a project that's uh, being managed uh, with the help of uh, uh, Milton funds are coming out of the engineering department uh, invoicing was received on time but a, a supplemental uh, needed to be approved prior um, the services have been rendered, the uh, supplements were approved, and this is for the privacy wall work alongside of Columbus Drive near the roundabout from Alder to the roundabout. Okay. Are there any questions or comments? No. There being no further questions or comments, I entertain a motion to approve the late invoice for Robinson Engineering in the amount of $15,477. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. And next we have another late invoice from Cayman Waste and Recycling. We have one invoice dated 11 9 18 in the amount of $2,100. This one is planning department. Oh, there you go. This is from 2105 Broadway for demolition. Yeah, and I thought that's the one that we already approved. That's what I'm thinking. That was Calumet Waste and Recycling. We have 4095. Two 
Yeah, I think it's it might be two different um, addresses. Mm -hmm. Twenty one oh five Broadway. For this one was waiting for the creating of an account for city facade. Also requesting fund funding transfer to the account. It's the same thing. Yeah, both of them had an account issue. Are there two different addresses? Dates, the you want to take are, a look at them? Yeah, the yeah, dates please. are different and the amounts are the same, but the, the dates are different. This is a, you can go down like this. Then the ones further down. The other way. The other way. This one's from 2105 Broadway. Same one? Yeah. Okay. So it's for 2105 Broadway. I think the difference was that the dates were different on the invoices. So. I think they might have submitted twice mm -hmm. since they didn't get paid the first time around, but the account still was not handled yet. Okay. Uh, next we have from R&D Construction, the sauce from Pine. We have two. Yes, yeah, so this, um, the first one was a d dual project between engineering department and planning. And this was for a sidewalk to attach to the back of the ramp of the stage at the lakefront. Um, city engineer approved the work. Um, the invoices were coming to me at the planning department and we were, um, we were forwarding them to the engineering department, but somehow. So that, that that's the second one. The the first one's the uh, one thousand dollar invoice for R and D at Block Stadium. Okay, this says R and D construction engineering this is the first one. You're, but you're both from R and D. Right. Okay, I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm sorry. In reference to that project, again, we we um we're hand delivering uh, this it might have got lost in the shuffle so then we finally then uh, gave it to the administrative assistant of the engineer and um, we because of the back and forth we are here now this is a November uh, invoice from last year and so we would like uh, to get this paid and I do believe part of the issue also was that you know we were getting to the end of the year. So by the time we got this, approved the work that it got done, you know, the budget got closed, or the accounts. Okay, so we have the outstanding invoice for R&D, invoice 649, dated 11 218 the amount of $1,000, and invoice 648 with R&D, dated 11 518 the amount of 2499 Are there any questions or comments on these two invoices? Well, so the one that I'm discussing is the $2,499 one, which is invoice 2018-648. Right. The other invoice I would like to handle separately because it, it is not the, it's nothing related to this project and there's an issue with the invoice. No, they, uh, they'll be separate because we're naming the invoices separately. Yeah, I, I, w I was supposed to speak on the uh, the, the two thousand four hundred and ninety nine one. Um, so yeah, services were rendered. Um, the sidewalk was put in from the stage to the sidewalk over at the lakefront. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to pass this one for R and D in any amount of two thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay. And then we'll, we'll move on to the other one for block thing. Okay then. You're making a motion. I second. I'll, you'll second. Yes. Okay, roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. Okay, so now, you spoke on the $1,000 one. 
So this $1,000 one um, isn't a late invoice. So I just want to mention it's not a late invoice and it shouldn't be paid because it's an incorrect invoice given by the contractor. And I wanted to come to the board to make sure that that's on the record that the date of the work that was done, which was in February, not in November. So the date is already wrong. And then the amount is actually more than $1,000 but it's not for machine rental and labor, it's for actually removal of concrete. So the gentleman has been contacted several times to update their invoice and they have not done that. And so I just want for the record that, um, that this is again not a late invoice. He did come to the controller's office um, requesting information on this and he was informed the same thing and he acknowledged that, oh yeah, he needed to fix it. So, but I want to put this on for the record. Okay, so you're giving us a reason for not paying. Right yes. Now. So it's not like. For notification no. purposes. Yeah. There's no action. There's no motion needed. We have on record your reason for not pursue, not paying this late in Correct. Okay, thank you. Next on our agenda, we have from service doctor. Yes, so this is one of our uh, private business facades that we um, we have a facade program with the city of East Chicago um, and this invoice was invoiced to us but the project was not what we did an inspection the building department did an inspection and when that inspection occurred it did not pass and so we had the vendor come back and fix the issues um, by the time they fixed and by the time we you know went through the process the, the invoice was late so we are um, the in, the new inspection has passed and we are able to pay this and we are happy with the work at this point so we are asking that we pay this invoice now okay so this is four invoices dated off from 18 totaling forty two thousand two hundred five dollars and eighty four cents for service doctor yes any questions or comments the location is for 3721 Main? They actually had two locations. Um, the one that I think that it's was that we held is the okay. correct. So there was two locations. Any other questions or comments? None. I entertain a motion that we approve the outstanding invoice for service doctor in the amount of $42,205.84. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Cosa. Yes. Okay, we'll move on to the late invoice from Crown Brick and Supply. We have yes, three sir. invoices uh, dated 12 27 18, 1 8 19, 1 10 19, for a total of $1,326.24. Yes, and this is for um, the city's facade program. Um, my colleague is in here, Milton, who, sh um, and so, but it is in reference to the description on your, um, on your paper should state why it's actually late. And I think I believe his reason was there were invoices were sent bundled by mail with our most current invoice dated 3-4-19. So apparently they bundled the other previous invoices with this one. I believe this is probably the first time they receive them, and that's why they're late. Any questions or comments on uh, the outstanding invoices for Crown Brick and Supply for $1,326.24? No. no. Any questions or comments? There's a motion to approve Crown and Brick's Crown Brick and Supplies late invoice. So moved. And second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. William Bluesman. Yes. Next, we come to Information and Records Association. Their, uh, I believe it's their rate schedule for 2019. That is correct. Um, we did use this company last year, uh, what used to be the remnants of the engineering department's uh, map room, building department's maps, and planning department maps. And they have scanned those for us. And so these are the rate schedule for this year because there's still some maps that need to be um, scanned. And um, I would like that the board approve the rate schedule. Any questions or comments? 
No. No. No request for comments or entertain a motion to approve the rate schedule from Information and Records Association, IRA, for the year 2019. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Next on our agenda, we have uh, I believe three ch donation checks from special events. We have one from Hughes and Berg for $100. One from Ameristar for $10,000. And one from Twin City, where I believe is $200. And these are donations made? Those are donations uh, for special events. Okay, and just for the record, donations, State Board Accounts requested donations be approved by a board. And that's what I did before us. Any questions or comments on these three donations? No. There being no further questions or comments, I entertain a motion that we approve the donations from Humes and Berg for, for $100, from Maristar for $10,000, and from Twin City for $200. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next we have from VIS Law, contract to the City of Chicago and VIS Law LLC. Mr. Uh, this is a local attorney with some specialized knowledge on uh, on the issue of replatting and condominiumizing, if that's a word. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Fitzsimmons uh, 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 mixed-use development. Um, the uh, the plan is for each unit to be uh, have its own replat and property number, and the uh, second level uh, residential units to be uh, uh, part of a, f a newly formed condominium. And that's um, we're, that's a limited purpose for which we're employing his services. Okay, so typical, uh, typical uh, law department contract. Typical hourly rate. Okay. So this is with Viz Law at the amount of 170 per hour, not to exceed 20,000. Any questions or comments? No. no. Okay. If you no further questions or comments, you're entitled to motion. The contract with the City of East Chicago and Viz Law at the amount of 170 dollars per hour, not to exceed 20,000. So moved. Second. Roll call. Bill Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Weena Guzman? Yes. Didn't even know we had a phone here. Did Didn't you? either. Didn't either. <laughs> okay, next on our agenda, we have from CISYNC LLC. And this is a professional service consulting agreement. For the, for the police department. Um, this outfit has been vetted by um, Chief, uh, Chief Smith and the uh, uh, brass at the police department. They're um, uh, performing. Um, um, uh, the, the chief is uh, substituting this um, uh, contractor to perform services uh, uh, performed by his predecessor. Uh, chief is not here, but um, this is. Uh, uh, we. Uh, this is, I believe, their previous one for was for statistical reports and. Yes, statistical. Reporting. Right. Yes, and. Um, um, uh, the amount is for seven thousand five hundred, <coughs> and for a monthly service, consultants should be paid monthly for two thousand five hundred. So, and it's on our typical uh, independent contractor um, format, which we modified his proposal to fit the uh, the format that the the city and the law department is comfortable with. Okay, any further questions or comments on this consulting agreement? No. There being no further questions or comments, we're entertaining a motion to approve the CISYNC LLC Professional Service Consulting Agreement between the City of Chicago's Police Department and the amount of $7,500. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Weena Guzman. Yes. Okay, next, we have a resolution 2019. Dash 10, payment for installation of cameras at East Chicago Housing Authority. The resolution of the East Chicago Board of Public Works authorizing payment for installation of cameras previously purchased for East Chicago Housing Authority. Kevin Klosek, System Administrator, City of East Chicago. 
so this resolution, um, I believe, is an amendment from an original resolution uh, that was drafted um, about three years ago, which uh, was in place to have the city place uh, security cameras throughout the West Calumet complex. Uh, as we know, that complex has since been uh, demoed, and the cameras have been preserved, and the uh, city wishes to uh, replace those cameras in uh, two locations, one at a property on Theodore and the other on Columbus Drive, which are uh, currently owned by housing, and uh, we wish to uh, remount or resurface those cameras in, uh, in those two areas. Uh, so that it can increase security and so forth uh, on those two properties. Okay. And accompanying the resolution, we have the proposal from Vermilion Systems in the amount of $49,179.50. That's correct. Are there any questions or comments on the resolution and the proposal from Vermilion? None. No. There being no further questions or comments, I entertain the motion to approve resolution number 2019 10, resolution of the East Chicago Board of Public Works authorizing payment for the installation of cameras previously purchased for East Chicago Housing Authority and its accompanying proposal for Vermilion Systems Board of Work in the amount of $49,179.50. So moved. Second. Roll call. Bell Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Wiener Guzman? Yes. Mr. President, um, I would also like to request uh, if you would kindly consider deferring from the agenda, and I am prepared to make a recommendation on the uh, bid that was previously opened up. And that was for the Fire Station 5 Fiber Network? Yes. Any recommendation? Um, having reviewed all the uh, proposals, the recommendation is to award to uh, Hernandez Electric any amount of twenty-three thousand seven hundred sixty-nine dollars and ten cents. Twenty-three seven. What? Twenty-three seven six nine ten. Ten cents. Yes. Any questions or comments on this recommendation? No. There being no further questions or comments, I entertain a motion to approve the recommendation from our IT department for Fire Station 5's Fire Network RFP to Hernandez Electric in the amount of $23,769.10. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Wiena Guzman. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Next on our agenda, we have from Robinson Engineering, we have our 2019 rate schedule. Yeah, this is from the engineering department. Um, I'd like to move forward with uh, accepting Robinson's rates for the year 2019 for, for miscellaneous uh, and engineering and surveying work. Any questions or comments? No. There be no further questions or comments. We have a motion to approve uh, Robinson Engineering's 2019 standard billing rates for 2019, effective January 1st. So moved. Second. Val Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Wiena Guzman? Yes. Next we have from America Incorporated. This is from the Engineering Department. This is a uh, proposal uh, with America to conduct a uh, geo study, environmental study on Guthrie for removing some abandoned railroad tracks. Uh, again, this is just for their services uh, to do an assessment so that we can dispose of the material properly. Okay, and this is for a total of $7,480? Correct, for soil sampling. Any questions or comments? No. There be no further questions or comments, we're entertaining a motion to approve Americo's proposal in the amount of $7,480. So moved. Um, can I just uh, ask to strike out uh, subject to 1.75% finance charge? We will strike that <coughs> section out uh, under payment terms. Yes. So the 1.75 monthly finance charge. Okay. Second. 
motion again. Can I make the motion? Yep. We a second? Yep. She second. Yes. Roll call. Val Gomez? Yes. <coughs> William Allen? Yes. Lena Guzman? Yes. I see redevelopment I already passed it too. Uh -huh. Okay. Makes me wonder why we have it. Next we have from Underground Detective 2019 rates. Yeah, earlier this year we accepted the rates of Bloodhound. Now before us is the rates for Underground Detectives. Uh, engineering Department would like to move forward with them when it comes to uh, construction jobs to uh, outsource locate. Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, we'd like to move forward with them uh, for Walsh Avenue, uh, Indianapolis Boulevard, and Homerly. Uh, and, and again, moving forward with our construction jobs. I know the paperwork says for 2019, their prices stay the same? <coughs> Correct. Correct. Okay. Any further questions or comments? No? No. There being no further questions or comments, we entertain a motion to approve Underground Detectives' proposed uh, pricing rates for the year 2019. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Wiener Guzman? Yes. Okay, and that brings us to right away applications. We have Board of Public Works permit applications 19 03158 through 19 03168. Any questions or comments on these permit applications? No. We no further questions or comments. I entertain a motion to approve Board of Public Works permit application 19 03158 through 1903168. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez? Yes. William Allen? Yes. Lena Guzman? Yes. Okay. I believe that concludes our new list. Well, James? Go back right. to building. Okay, so for the record, uh, from our building commissioner, you need more time for your recommendation? Okay, we'll, we'll take it up next meeting then. Okay. Uh, that concludes our new business. We have no old business, no other business under our agenda. Our next regular meeting will be Wednesday, April 24, 2019, at 4.30 p.m. It says, <coughs> excuse me, that concludes our uh, agenda for today. I entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Roll call. Val Gomez. Yes. William Allen. Yes. Lena Guzman. Yes. Thank you. Okay, good evening, everyone. I would like to call to order the uh, regular meeting of the East Chicago Board of Public Safety, April 10th. We follow the agenda we have in front of us, starting with the Pledge of Allegiance. May we all stand? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, there is uh, the minutes. Is there a motion to approve the regular meeting minutes from March 13, 2019? I make a motion. And second. Moved and probably second. Any questions? None. No questions. We'll take a vote. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. There's no correspondence in front of us. New business, uh, fire department reports from 2019, March 2019. Are there any uh, questions or comments for our chief? I have, I have none for the chief. There are none. Okay, is there a motion to accept the fire department report? I so move. I second. Any questions? No. Any no. questions? None. No questions. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, board members. Thank you for coming out for the just in case. Uh, there is resolution 2019-06 and release of lien for 4925 Homely Avenue. Is there a motion to approve resolution 2019-06? I make a motion. It's been moved and properly second. Any questions? Aye. Any questions? No questions. If not. We'll take a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we have four demolition orders, and I see that there is no one here to speak on these. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Uh, there are four properties, and they were all properly noticed. Um, if you want, I can just run through them orally. 4842 Alexander, 
Uh, it's a vacant boarded up frame house, missing siding, failing roof, collapsed rear porch, 4742 McCook, a vacant boarded up brick house, failed porch, failed roof, missing siding. It seems that there was a fire there. 4840 McCook, uh, photos show a frame house boarded up with broken windows, debris in the yard, and a garage with a failed roof and no doors. It's filled with debris. And 4002 Parish, and it's a brick commercial property. It looks like an old tavern. And the bricks are starting to fall to the point where the sidewalk has to be blocked. The doors are boarded up. The foundation and the chimney are failing, and there is graffiti on the side. All these owners were notified according to Indiana Code, and nobody appears. I have prepared orders for each of the properties, and I would ask the board to please approve. And I'm sure uh, the building commissioner has some input on these. Hi, uh, James from Latin in Chicago, uh, Building Commissioner. Um, these properties, uh, we have acquired, uh, have received tax sale certificates on these properties, and um, we intend to demolish these properties using the hardest hit funds. In order to do so, we would need the demo orders, and that way I could conduct the inspections on these property right now until we ob uh, actually obtain the quick claim deed in October. Okay, is there a motion to accept the recommendation of the building commission and enter demolition orders for the four properties we have discussed in front of us on our agenda? I so move. I second the motion. It's been moved and properly second. Any questions? No. Any questions? If there are no questions, we'll take a vote. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. All right, there is no old business before us, no audience uh, participation. Next meeting will be April 24th. At 5.30 p.m. Is there a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Moved and properly second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Meeting is adjourned.